Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and this is my review for Tokyo Ravens episode number one. Now, Tokyo, just a little background. Um, Tokyo Ravens, just like Unbreakable Machine Doll, it is a light novel that has a manga adaptation. It's a manga that I read. So, just like Unbreakable Machine Doll, this was an anime that I was looking forward to. Um, it's... Tokyo Ravens is set to have 24 episodes, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it has a better start than Unbreakable Machine Doll did. Uh, first, we get introduced to some characters, Harutora, Toji, Natsume, and Hokuto. Um, we learn that this world is an Onmyoji world. We know that the story revolves around Onmyoji. Um, we, we learn that Hokuto her main goal is to get Harutora to become an Onyoji because he's from the Tsuchimikado family and the Tsuchimikado family is a famous family of Onyoji. Now, Harutora, he, he doesn't want to become an Onyoji at all, he's against it. Um, and the main reasons for that are, one, he just doesn't have the talent for it, he can't even see spirits. And three, he's not even from the main family, he's from the branch family. And the fourth reason is that even if he was from the main family, it wouldn't really mean anything. Because the main family hasn't been <laughs> doing too well either, thanks to someone by the name of Yako Tsuchimikado. Now, we don't exactly know who Yako is yet, we really don't. Um, we know that he performed a certain type of magic that Suzuka, that Suzuka talks about later on in the episode, but I'll get to that later. Um, after, you know, there are some character interactions. After that, we end up meeting Natsume. She talks to Harutora on this bridge. And she's, she's actually voiced by Kana Hanazawa, which I don't really understand why. Kanahanazawa was a little bit too popular, so I guess she gets a lot of roles, including one she doesn't need. Voicing characters that she shouldn't be voicing. Personally, I don't think the voice fits, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's better than Hiroshimono as Raishin, so I, I, so I could deal with it. But, um, pretty much we meet Natsume. It's nothing really big. We just, we learn that she likes Harutor. It's pretty obvious. Um... She's lonely because she's the head and she doesn't have any friends. Oh, she's the next head of the family. Um, she's a Tsuchimikado as well. She's the next head of the Tsuchimikado family. She doesn't have any friends in her school and she's lonely. And, you know, that's... Harutora does a typical dense protagonist thing to do. Calls her not cute. Not really that big of a deal, but it is for her since she likes him. So I like, guess it's understandable, but she gets mad, walks away, forgets her bag, has to come back, and then walk away again. Um, after that, we go to Harutora's dad's clinic. He has an Omioji clinic. Um, Toji is there getting something done. We don't really know what, but um, he's getting something done. Some issue was taken care of by Harutora's dad, and they're watch and they're watching the news, and something comes on, something about this spirit disaster type of thing, and um, pretty much we learn that there's something called the Exorcism Bureau, the Onyo Agency, that there's this like tree, I guess, like in the middle of the street or something, and there's all this like spiritual energy around it, and Pretty much all these like all new agency guys and exorcism bureau guys, they're trying to like they got, they've got these swords and like talismans and all this stuff trying to take care of it. But then this one guy comes in, one of the twelve divine generals. He just deals with it. Just deals with it. Um. So we we we're, we just finish with that. We finish with that. Um. We end up going to this fair, this festival. Um, you know, Toji, Harutora, and Hokutora. It's not really important at all. It really isn't. It's, it's. I really don't care that much. It's not important. You don't need to worry about it. All you really need to know is that 
Haruto and Hokuto get into another argument over whether he should become an Omiyoji or not. They get separated, and after that, Suzuka Dairenji shows up. Suzuka, who I mentioned earlier, she's also one of the Twelve Divine Generals, and she approaches Harutora, thinking that he's Natsume, and Toji gets in to play along with it. Pretty much, they find out that her plan is to activate the same magic that Yaku Tsujimikado activated, and that's called, I believe, the Great Spirit Method, the Taizan Fukun Ritual. And, you know, apparently this is bad. Her That magic she wants to do is bad because the Magical Investigation Bureau shows up to arrest her. And she takes care of them in an instant. It, it, it wasn't hard for her at all. She summons this, uh, this artificial Shikigami, I guess. And uh, I believe Toji called it the Model M3 Asura. And... It just destroys the barrier that they they put up and just defeats them instantly. They aren't even there. After she activates the Shikigami, they just disappear. The water wa water washes all of them away. They're gone. They're they're gone. They're not they're not laying on the ground. They're gone from the scene completely. So and then she, after that, after the water disappears, we find out that she actually has captured Harutora. And she's the Shikigami is holding him up. And, um, Hokuto shows up, you know, shut you know, let Harutora go, you know, all this stuff, and then that's when Suzuka realizes that Harutora isn't Natsume. So, <laughs> the rest of the episode, it's pretty much just, I mean, it's pretty obvious that Hokuto likes Harutora as well. Suzuka figures that out. And... It's not really surprising that Suzuka doesn't really care for Hokuto since she's kind of annoying. I don't like her either, to be honest. So, <laughs> I, I was kind of laughing at her during this scene, but um, Suzuka asks Harutora if Hokuto is his girlfriend, and he says no. So she goes, oh, well, then I won't hold back. And then she kisses him when the fireworks go off, which is a pretty cliche scene. But they put a spin on it where <laughs> that made me laugh. But um, yeah, I was kind of laughing at Hokey till then. But that's how the episode ends. Um, luckily, in the future, something happens where Hokey till finally stops being annoying. I won't spoil what it is or how it is that she stops being annoying, why it is that she stops being annoying. But if you didn't like the show just because of Hokuto, don't worry, she stops being annoying. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the episode. Um, I liked it more than Unbreakable Machine Doll. I guess I'll give the episode a 7 out of 10. Um, I mean, most of it was just okay. Like, the festival stuff, it's not really important at all. Um, but there were, there were some, you know, some setup for things learning about all these bureaus and the 12 Divine Generals, Suzuka Dairenji. It's a lot of setup. We met Natsume, she's obviously going to be important later on. So a lot of setup, plus Suzuka at the end was pretty good, so I'll give the episode a 7 out of 10. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'll see you guys next time.